Tinder, blender, render, kinder, vendor, mender, linder, ender. I didn't intend to start the video like this, but I'm just now realizing how many words rhyme with Tinder, and I'm amusing myself like a dog chasing his own tail, and I'm gonna catch it. But before we look at some wacky Tinder messages, I have quite the story to tell from my own personal experience. I had just downloaded the app, started swapping, and what do you know? I got my first match. So naturally, I go to message her, and she has this video of her and her little pet pig on her profile so I thought it would be a great opener to say how could I not swap right on a girl who has a pet pig I thought she would get down on one knee after hearing that I thought it was a great opening line I was proud of myself and then after that I closed out the app and I kind of forgot about it then while I'm at this restaurant eating some boneless wings my phone buzzes and I pull it out and I look at it and it's a it's a tinder notification from that girl that I'd messaged and her reply was and I quote <laughs> he's dead <laughs> Okay, what am I supposed to do with that information? Say, cool, how did the bacon taste? Like, what are, you, what are you expecting from me? With that out of the way, though, let's go ahead and get into the video, but be prepared and clench those cheeks real hard in preparation for this first one. Our man Eric here sends a little anime picture, anime gif or something of the nosebleeds, which happens whenever they see a hot, attractive woman. That's the anime lingo for those non-weebs out there, for those normal people out there. How are you real? You look like a waifu I'd design in a JRPG. Also, why are you mad about being 5'3"? I'm 5'9", which is 69 inches tall, winky face, <laughs> so you're the perfect hot for me. I'm getting some real femboy maid outfit vibes here from this first one. Dare I say he may even be a weeb? I'll tell you what though, the weirdos have a lot of confidence online, I gotta give that much to them at least. It took some sizable nuts to say something like this to a real person. <laughs> but in all honesty, how is she even supposed to respond to this? Okay is the only thing that really comes to mind, or touch grass should also suffice. Age 25, 43 miles away, big girl looking for a guy who owns a male dog and doesn't mind watching. <laughs> That's disgusting! <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry. That was my evil twin, Derek. He likes bestiality. Hey, we should sext. I'll start. Takes off Crocs. Why would you take them off? Slowly puts Crocs back on. That's right, daddy. <laughs> Now this right here is how you should sex. The days of unsolicited dick pics is over. You no longer have to expose yourself to win a girl's heart. Just roleplay croc sex, then you're in there like swimwear, baby. You're having kids by tomorrow morning. Hi, mommy, hey, OMG, OMG, Kimmy. Autocorrect's out there fooling them again. Autocorrect's always out there tugging at your nuts, doing some tomfoolery. <laughs> How about instead of me milking you, mommy, how about mommy milks me? I got a table set up in my garage and everything. It's a perfect size. Hey, man, I ain't gonna apologize. I was all horned up, and this guy shouldn't apologize either. Just fully commit to calling her mommy, and she'll either love it or she'll block you. You gotta go balls to the walls on dating apps, man. You gotta be submissive and breedable sometimes. And obviously, when you're on dating apps, you're gonna have a few Indian tech support scammers in their call center acting like girls trying to, I don't know, get matches on Tinder as a girl, I guess, because this is exactly what this seems like right here. This woman, it blurred out her name, obviously, but it says, I'm abducted in one, but if you want an adorable for ma, then I am for you like a one. That's like some Edgar Allan Poe poetry right there. It's truly beautiful. The way that they wrote, I abducted in one, but if you want an adorable for ma, then I am for you like a wine. That's, it's like, it's beautiful. It's like watching a rose bloom. Nothing else quite matches that, that feeling that I'm getting on the inside from reading that description. I'm already a swapping right immediately. Even if deep down I know this is a group of men trying to catfish me so they can run a gangbang on me, I gotta take my chances because the upside is just so good that the downside doesn't seem so bad at all. And this right here is a funny one. They said, to preface this, my profile picture was a brat stall, and it's Yoda that matched with him. They said, yo, I'm finally taller than a match for once. I'm at a towering two foot two. How tall is your plastic badonkadonk voluptuous milker wilkers flopper whoppers, you know? Yoda's always out there trying to lay the pop. He's got his plumbing degree and everything. He needs to put it to use, baby. Sex with Yoda, you will. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I can't do a Yoda voice. 
John is hitting her with the cold water, the real tough questions. He says, sex question mark? Female, thanks for asking. John, don't let this get you down. Just keep asking people for their sexes and eventually you'll find the one. You will. I believe in you, John. Wait, are you really a Navy SEAL? Ha 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 ha. Not a SEAL, but in the Navy, yes. Oh no, well, we can't talk anymore. My ex-husband was in the Navy, and I sadly, and sadly I think the military and Navy makes men more violent towards men. I can't further this. Her thinking like that kinda just shows me that her ex-husband was probably a raging alcoholic who hated everything in his life, so he took it out on his wife and children. <laughs> that doesn't really represent the entirety of the Navy. Just more so of a, a bad apple, a horrible person, a stinky turd of a man. Then he sends a picture of what I presume is him and his buddy with their military degrees or whatever you get in the military. Sexual and physical assault for military women is at an all-time high. It's hopper masculinity. <laughs> I ain't heard that before. Hopper masculinity. I like that. I'm a hopper masculine man, baby. Look at this. Hopper masculinity. Woo! The military just turns you into a hopper masculine man who beats women and beats women even more. <laughs> And every man loves a woman with a sense of humor, and this right here is the peak sense of humor I've ever seen on Tinder. About me, GB wheelchair basketball, girls are like parking spaces. The good ones are always taken, so just use the disabled one whilst no one's looking. <laughs> Rio 2016 Paralympian, drop me a message. So yes, this woman is in a, a wheelchair and she plays wheelchair basketball seemingly. That right there, if I seen that, you just have to swap right, because with a sense of humor like that, what's there not to love? You don't even gotta hook up with them. This right here just seems like a genuinely good friend to have in your life. I, I, I would love to have someone like this in my life. A sense of humor like that is good on anybody. So yeah, that's all the Tinder messages we're gonna be looking at today. I presume this video is gonna be about average length. With, there, there's nothing wrong with average. There's nothing wrong with average length, okay? Nothing wrong with it. Any women out there that may match with me on Tinder or want to hook up with me through the emails or whatever, average length is fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Average is average because it's fine. Okay? I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey, man. I ain't gonna apologize. I was all horned up. And this guy shouldn't apologize either. either. This guy shouldn't apologize either. Either. And this guy shouldn't apologize either. either. Why do I keep saying either? Either. And this guy shouldn't apologize either. E oh my god, I keep saying either every time. Either. It's either. And this guy shouldn't apologize either. Either. <coughs> apologize either.